Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, and welcome to another episode of Social Live. We've got a lot of exciting updates today. We do. Like last week was kind of quiet with updates, but this week a lot came out. Last week was just a big birthday celebration. Yeah, it was. And now we've got to tell everyone what's happening in the world of Facebook, Instagram, and basically Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Well, we do have a Snapchat update. We oh, that can't is forget true. About them. I do forget about them. I've been them. using Snapchat a little bit more recently. Really? Not to like Snapchat anyone, but just to like see what's going on on the app. You know, check what's, in. What is going on? Um, a lot of Kardashian content, so that's like mostly why I'm there. How how much time are you spending on there? Ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. Instagram six hours. Wow. Eight hours. Have you okay. started to check how much time you're spending on there? I actually haven't no, done that yet. No, I haven't yet. done it. I'm too nervous. Oh, let's after the episode. Can we check. please remember? Yeah. Let's check. Oh it's gonna be bad. <laughs> it's gonna be real bad. I have been spending a lot of time on Instagram, yeah. hence the, the red eyes today. Those are called Instagram eyes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, let's get to our Facebook update, and then we have an amazing guest. We're giving away some really fun swag today, so start sharing the episode and commenting if you want to be one of our lucky winners. We have John Reyes here. But first up, Facebook, big announcement. We shared something we thought was coming. Was that a couple weeks ago? I think it was like a month or so ago. A month ago, or so yeah. ago that Facebook was going to come out with something called Lip Sync, but now some secret uh, Facebook spies believe that it's actually going to be called Talent Show. This would be something separate Oh, from Lip Sync. Oh my gosh, I'm giving, another, I'm giving fake it's Facebook news. Musical update. Yeah, but why would they do both? It I seems know. like it's the People same thing. Just, this is going to be the new American Idol. I agree. <laughs> and guess who we're going to put on it? You. Caitlin Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a really interesting update. This talent show is what it's called, would allow users to compete by singing, like basically a singing competition on Facebook. It's not clear, um, you know, what happens if you win. It's not clear who's judging. I want to be a judge. The competition, I know. I'm like, will they get Simon Cowell? Maybe. But I'm, I, I read this yesterday and I was really surprised. I just didn't see Facebook really getting musical. Well, it's happening. They know from Musical.ly that this works and this is how you get kids on, on apps, the kids these days. Yeah, exactly. They like to sing, they like, like to lip sync. They're definitely going for a younger demographic yes. with this update, which is, which Facebook has been trying to do for a while because their main audience is like older, you know, parents, your aunts, grandparents, if they're tech savvy. Um, but I think this is kind of a cool update. I'm, I, if I start seeing a lot of people singing in my feed i'm probably gonna unfriend them but you know we'll see what happens you'll still keep me as a friend promise yeah, yeah well yeah thank you promise thanks jules we'll do britney songs I'm we sure. will do britney songs and as soon as this launches we're definitely doing a social fly competition this okay. will be fun. We didn't do my annual karaoke party this year. This is the first year, <laughs> so it's going to happen on Facebook. And Instagram has a big update. Yeah, I, so this is an update for IGTV. Um, right now, if you've downloaded the standalone app, that's where the IGTV content lives mainly. But they also have a button at the top of the screen next to DMs where you can go and scroll through IGTV content. But in order to get users, a lot of people don't know that it has a standalone app. And you get like a little banner when new content's posted, but it doesn't have that coveted spot in the stories feed at the top yet. So Instagram is testing carousel ads in the feed to show you IGTV content that'll direct you to go watch the full length video now. I think that is very smart because Instagram really hasn't been promoting IGTV. And I think yeah. part of it, and we were talking about it, you know, it's gonna take a few months for brands and people to really start making great, totally. unique, organic content that they're gonna put on this channel. And maybe Instagram just wanted to wait a bit until there was more really great content mm -hmm. to really start directing people there. Because like I said, a lot of people don't know it's a separate app and that you have to download it. Yeah, I, I downloaded the separate app and I haven't really used it. Mm -hmm. I've been going, I've been viewing IGTV content within the Instagram app. Yes, me too. Yeah, and I think it's, a, I mean, I'm actually really excited to see where IGTV goes. Um, you know, if like IGTV is going to become a hub for like upcoming stars, content mm -hmm. creators, or if it's going to just like expand the reach of famous YouTubers, in influencers on Instagram, all, like what they're already posting. Have you spent a lot of time on IGTV? I haven't Not really. yet. I honestly, I've noticed I was just thinking this over the weekend because I got like lost in an Instagram stories like black hole. I wasn't, I'm like not even scrolling through the feed anymore. I'm only going through stories. Stories, yes, that's and right. And all the content I'm seeing in my feed 
is that the same memes over and over and over again. I kind of get frustrated. That's a meme problem. Yeah, it meme is. Meme problem <laughs> And Snapchat has a big update. Snapchat storytellers. Jules, tell us about this one. This one is another really cool update. Snapchat has been kind of late to the influencer marketing game, but with the new Snapchat storytellers pilot program, they are partnering with five of the biggest content creators on the platform, and they're going to help match them with brands to kind of educate and about how to create stories content that drives results, how to use the discover features on Snapchat, and hopefully expand their reach of store of ads on the platform. This is really, I think this is really innovative yes. for Snapchat. Um, personally, I, the five um, content creators they are working with, I haven't heard of them, but that's because I'm not 13, and I'm not like their main target audience on Snapchat. Um, but you know, if this takes off for Snapchat, which I kind of think it will, I think it's an interesting like foster the relationships and then see results kind of strategy. Um, if this does take off, it might mean for users that we're going to see more ads yes. in the feed that are unskippable. But um, you know, it's good for Snapchat. They've had a tough year. They have, and this is a really great way for them to kind of break into the snap into the influencer marketing realm because Facebook. They're there, a yes. Studio and everything. I haven't heard much about brands using it. I haven't seen a lot yet, um, but I think this is kind of like Snapchat's iteration of the Facebook Creator Studio. I agree. We're gonna have to follow follow this story. So those are our three big updates for today. And now we are so excited to welcome our special guest. You may follow him on Instagram. His name is John Reyes. Welcome to Social Live. Come on over. Ooh. What's going on, guys? How are Thanks you? Thanks for, for the invite. Thanks for coming today. Good morning. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for waking up for us today. That's no problem. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, you know, for our audience who doesn't know you yet, where can they find you on Instagram? We want to hear a little bit about your story of how you got started. Cool. Yeah, my Instagram is just my name, just with NYC after, just because that's where I'm from. Um, it kind of started with the Razor scooters. We all had those Razor scooters yeah. when we all started, like models. Those like those hundred dollar foldable things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got one and just had it and played around. Didn't really get serious on it, and then. Um, just tried to test to see if it would break or not, and then it got addicted from there. Just got super oh addicted, gosh. jumping around, like jumping off the curbs and stuff like everybody did, and I was like, oh, this is fun. Let's keep doing it. Do you wear a helmet? I do when I'm doing something new, and I'm actually, I guess I'm not confident with my own progression, so I'll put it on, but when I know what I'm doing, I kind of keep it off because it kind of restricts you sometimes, but just be smart with yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So you have a ton of trophies featured on your Instagram feed from winning competitions and like best tricks and things like that. What's your like favorite trick to perform in front of an audience if you're competing? So if you see my Instagram story recently, there's been a few trophies. Those actually I've been giving away. I've been holding competitions for like yeah. the little guys. There hasn't been too much in New York right now. There's not too many pros in New York because no one wants to try to survive the winter. Yeah. Because over here it's like our, our occupation, it's like you gotta be outside, you gotta be warm, you know? There's not too many indoor places. So to hold my own thing is kind of like what I want to do for the kids cause to keep the kids into it, get them off Fortnite and get them outside. Yeah. You know, so I've been doing that, but I do have some trophies. I have a whole trophy shelf at home. And probably, I mean, one of my favorite tricks to do is just going on the front wheel. That's like my favorite thing, just like bouncing, like trying to just hold as long as I can. But I mean, I do all like the flips and like all the spins and stuff. It's just fun stuff. When did you start your Instagram account and realize that this was something that could, could take off and you could monetize it? I was actually thinking about that the other day with a couple of other buddies on Instagram. I started it like seven or eight years ago when everybody did. Okay. Um, but I would just post up a new trick, like just almost for like myself to watch. Not like, okay, I want to see if I could post this right and make sure it looks good for this person. That way they can connect me with a brand or something. But recently, obviously, it's like you have to actually think about what you post if you want to connect with brands or other people in general, but um, I think within the past two years, I've been taking it serious where like, I make sure I have at least three posts a day to capture everybody around the world. Wow. Do you so, respond to everyone's comments and DMs? I used to, I used to actually like, try to do every single DM, yeah. but it's gotten so overwhelming that like, it's physically like, impossible. Yeah. Like, it's so hard. I mean, a lot of the ones are the same questions, so like, if I see like, 20 consistent questions, I'll try to develop a post mm -hmm. that will kind of answer it mm -hmm. for them, but to answer all of them, it's tough, and I mean, it is consistent questions, so. I just post something that they yeah. like. What's the most common question or DM you get? Can you follow Instagram? me? <laughs> <laughs> Can you and follow you? me? I don't really follow too many people because I kind of want to just, I mean, it's, I don't know, I don't see it. I mean, it could be selfish, but it's not really. Like, I think it's more like if you follow people that are connected with you, those people, if it's minimal amount of people, mm -hmm. those people can benefit. Yes. Um, and plus it keeps your exclusivity 
greater sure. as well. How many people are you following? Like under 60. Wow, it Whoa. is exclusive. Yeah, it kind of, I mean, super exclusive. I think mean, like if you ever see a celebrity and they're like following three people, mm -hmm. you're gonna go look at those exactly. three people. Yeah, so it causes, it's a marketing tactic. It causes interest that way and I wanna, I guess, have the people that I'm following benefit as well somehow because they're, they're helping me out in the way too. Did you start your Instagram first or YouTube? Instagram. Instagram first. Mm -hmm. And then when did you realize, okay, I should be sharing this on YouTube and try to grow my following there as well? Last year, I got a very, very consistent DM message, probably hundreds and hundreds of them, about, hey, you should start a YouTube channel. I didn't really take it serious. I was just like, oh, I have, like, I have an old YouTube channel with like, my old tricks, like me when I was like 15. Yeah. It wasn't serious. And everybody's demanding it. And I see that a lot of people are actually going that way. And I was like, all right, we could do this. Like, it's, I just, I put, I mean, the first day I put the camera up, it was just super awkward. But, like, I'm <laughs> yeah. used to, like, filming myself and doing tricks. But now I, I kind of see it as, like, a behind the scenes of the journey of being a pro athlete. Sure. So that's cool. Like, it's cool to document on my own. And then kids like it. They love it. That's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned connecting with brands. Mm -hmm. um, how have you been able to monetize your account as your following has grown? Uh, it's more of, like... Brands that are either into culture, lifestyle, sports, any outdoor activities will reach out to me. In the beginning, it's, it was kind of tough because that cool factor was skateboarding and biking. Mm -hmm. And scootering is not really, like, it's not, it's not really up there with some of the top brands. Mm -hmm. But I guess because I'm in New York and I do connect with other guys, it kind of makes that. And they see it as not just like, I ride a scooter. It's like, this is my life. Mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle. Sure. So a lot of brands will connect with me just to... I guess blend with what I do, and I, I mean I'm active every day. So all the brands that have like active wear and active products, mm -hmm. they reach out to me for sure. Is there a dream brand you want to work with? Red Bull. Red Bull. Okay. Have Man. you reached out to them yet? I have. I mean, it's kind of like you almost like don't want to, because yeah. then you feel you'll you'll have that disappointment factor if it happens. I guess I want to build my portfolio mm -hmm. as far as like just get all the brands reaching out to me until the point where it's so much noise that Rebels like, hey, look, this guy's like doing this. We have to connect with him. So. Hopefully one day. All right, we're going to put it into the universe. That'd be awesome. And we'll see if we can help make it happen, too. It's a team of, <laughs> team of legends. Those guys know what they're doing as far as the guys on the team, like the athletes. And then, like, production-wise, they do the best stuff. Do you have people on your team now that, that help you with your account? Or are you managing everything yourself? I do everything myself. My girlfriend actually, and she's probably watching, my girlfriend actually <laughs> um, is helping me with connecting with brands. Awesome. Because uh, she's very good at that. She made me my media kit and everything. I never very had cool. a media kit. I would just like literally go hand, like word for word every brand and do it myself. And I realize that takes a lot of time. So having stuff prepared is definitely a good thing. And a lot of times people don't realize being an influencer and content creator, it is a full-time job. It's oh, a lot of work. And it's like, you don't, I mean, it's not hard, but then at the end of the day, you realize it was. That's, that's like what I've come to realize every day now. It's like, why are you doing it? It's like, oh, this is fun, it's fun. At the end of the day, you're like, man, it's like 12.30, like what? Like, I gotta wake up in four hours, like what's going on? Yeah. You're like, yeah. oh man, I gotta, I mean, you actually have the right stuff to do. You don't wanna forget things. That's the one, number one thing that's hard, is yeah. forgetting to do something the next day. Yeah, well, especially when you're working with a brand, you have to be sure that you oh. meet all their deliverables and do everything that you're oh, yeah. contracted to do. And then you don't wanna take too much time doing it because you wanna be open to other brands as well. So you wanna just be accepting jobs. And sometimes you accept too many, you're like, oh, I got all this to do today, but it's good. It's fun, it keeps you alive. Yeah, absolutely. And where can everyone follow you? Uh, it's just my name. My name is John Reyes, and then just NYC after, so John Reyes NYC. And it's the same thing for YouTube. You can do youtube.com slash John Reyes NYC. And how many videos are you putting up a week on YouTube? Every single day. Every single day. Oh my so gosh. you're the content king. Yeah. <laughs> and well, tell us what we're giving away here. So I know you guys asked me if I had some stuff to give away. I was thinking about giving a scooter, but we can, I mean, if you guys want to do something in the future, we can. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I do have a shirt. This is like the merch that I have on my YouTube channel. Awesome. All the kids buy this. This is like the logo that I use for the intro of the video. And then I also have, this is the, the main brand I ride for, is the scooter I use, Envy. They're like my number one sponsor. These guys are awesome. And I have an Envy shirt too. So it's a, my merch shirt and then an Envy shirt. Well, if you guys want to win this, comment below, share this episode. We will be sharing some links to, to John's video so you can check him out and get you some more followers. Let's keep it going. Awesome. And thank, thank you. you so much for being on the show today. We're so glad you, you made it here. Thanks for the we'll invite. We'll have to do this again. Let's do it. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see you next week. Same time, same place. Have a good one, everyone. And stay dry out there in New York City. Bye, guys. Bye.